Welcome. I bid you welcome. Johnny Clou- uh, John Clouser, Johnny Metal, the Metal Dad from my music corner. We are on day 29 of Apologetics April. The end has finally about come. Now, of course, there's 30 days in, in, in April, but I have a great finale for you, and it's going to be at a special time, 7 o'clock Central. You don't want to miss this. Uh, 7 o'clock Central evening time. So trust me on this. You will not want to miss it. It's going to be a lot of fun. I think you'll all enjoy this. So let's look at the last couple CDs, and then I'm going to show off a couple of other things I want to talk about here. So um, November 2022 um, would bring us uh, this little cute thing here called kind of stuffy so as it says here in the little thing here it says it's stuffed with stuff and that word is included in the titles of three of the songs on this album uh and in the lyrics of at least two others so there you go so that's kind of why so the surplus of stuff brings to mind this bible verse about the construction of the ark of the covenant and its furnishings. so for the stuff they had uh, was sufficient and all for all the work to make it and, and too much. Uh, Exodus uh, 36, 7 from the taken from the King James here. So um, as you kind of go through this particular album, you kind of learn more about that whole, the whole Ark of the Covenant thing. So this, but this one will go from the beginning to end, from Genesis to Revelation. Um, and most of everything here came out between 1983 and 1988 with at least one exception uh anyway well kind of sort of yeah well we'll get there anyway what's on what's on kind of stuffy so we're looking at um uh the first track kicks off with all that stuff's in there to remind me which is a parody of naked eyes's version of always something there to remind me um every step to take a parody of the police's every breath you take uh rats round and round uh with lost and found uh gets an uh updated treatment here uh durian's a view to a kill not a not a uh typical song you would always get a, f- a few who have skill um dead or alive's you spin me round with a version called you simply write down um brian adams summer of 69 gets a, a an updated treatment with 969 referring to methuselah uh, Starship with We Built This City, a song called Rebuild This City. Um, here they have a little bit of fun with H <laughs> with the fabulous Thunderbirds Tough Enough, and they do uh, a little tribute to HR Pub and stuff. So you can just imagine. Uh, great track, a very, very, very fun track. Um, Banana Rama's Venus, uh, with a Jesus Sermon on the Mount. So that's the uh, from the Sermon on the Mount in Matthew. Um, Tiffany's, I think we're alone now, uh, song called, I think we're in Rome now. Um, Rick Astley's never going to give you up. Heaven's going to lift you up. Robert Palmer, simply irresistible, irresistible with sin can be resistible. I think also gets a new, uh, treatment here and new kids on the block. You got it, the right stuff and you got to write stuff. So fun CD, great stuff there. No pun intended with the stuff. Uh, um, analogy there from the, the CD there. And lastly, um, I believe this actually really came out in, um, I need to double check about this, but I believe this came out at the beginning of the, of 2023. I don't think this came out in 2022. Um, I could be wrong on that. I need to double check that anyway. So what, what are we looking at here? No pun again, no pun intended. Um, Let's see. I'm going to look this up while I'm while I am sure about this because I want to be sure I'm giving you the right dates here. Um, let's see. Vision. The vision gets clearer as we get closer. Is the name of this one. So this came out. Actually, did come out in in uh, 2022. So I apologize for that. Um, so 2022. Sees us right at the end of Christmas. So um, what are we looking at here? So this applies to the Visions 
that God gave the prophets about Christ's coming, first coming, uh, that had already been fulfilled. Uh, visions that he gave to the church about Christ's second coming that still await uh, fulfillment. And visions he gives to us personally for our own lives that are gradually coming to pass. And it applies to this album too. So what are we looking at here? Um, Great Whites, Once Bitten, Twice Shy with a song called Once Live and Twice Died. In Excess is Devil Inside with a song called Devil in Sights. Uh, Def Leppard's Photograph, a song called Slow to Wrath. Green's Clearwater Revival's Green River with a song called Greed Liver, River. Excuse me. Greed River. Bruce Springsteen's Hungry Heart, a song called Greetings from PNC Park, PA. So uh, a little uh, little uh, Pennsylvania thing there. A uh, uh, Pirates uh, thing there. Uh, the Clash, uh, Trash in Vain, Stand By Me. A uh, Gain in Vain, Can't Buy Me. Great song there. Uh, Thin Lizzy's The Boys Are Back in Town. Again, gets an update here. The Boys Aren't Back in Down. Bon Jovi's Bad Medicine with a song called Bad Citizen, I believe also gets a, re a redo here. Uh, Can't Get It Out of My Head from ELO, a song called Get the Crowd in My Head. Can't Let the Crowd Get in My Head. This is Beth, again, I believe is a redo, a re, uh, renew, a redo here uh, with uh, Death, Death I Hear You Calling. Uh, Rednecks, a song called Cotton Eye Joe with a song called God and I Know. Uh, Van Halen's I'll Wait from the 1984 album, uh, a song called Why Wait? And lastly, Lightning Crashes by Live with a song called Lightning Flashes. So here we go. Um, vision gets clear as we get closer. So two wonderful CDs just came out in the uh, end of 2022. But that's not all. We have another CD coming. It's called Eclectic. Uh, I believe it's due out in May of, of next month and then May. Um these are just some parodies that they've done since this vision gets clearer comes out came out. So they they did uh, "Pressure" by Billy Joel, a song called Ezra, so a song about Ezra the prophet. Um, the plain white tees, a song called "Play Fair Delilah." Hey Delilah, uh, play play fair Delilah, uh, which is a song. Uh, the the plain white tees, the "Hey There Delilah." Sorry, I got a little tongue tied there. Um. They do the Bangles uh, song uh, in your room with a song called Elizabeth song. Uh, Barry Maguire's Eve of Destruction with a song called Eve of Instruction. Overkill by Men at Work with a song called Over the Hill. Uh, Crowded House, Something So Strong. Great song there. Uh, their version, Something Goes Wrong. Great version. Uh, Procol Harem's A Whiter Shade of Pale, uh, A Whiter Shape of Whale. So the song about Jonah there. Uh, Saturday in the Park by Chicago, a song called Sad Today in the Park. I believe that's a, uh update version. Uh, Let's Go by the Cars, a song called Ask God. Riders on the Storm by the Doors, with a song called Riders from the Lord, a Revelation song there. Uh, Every Rose Has a Storm by Poison, a song called Every Crown Has Its Thorns. Again, uh, an updated version of that. Uh, Eight Days a Week by the Beatles and Eight Ways to Be, also an uh, updated version of that. Uh, Fire and Rain by James Taylor, a song called Elijah's Lament. Um, Susie Gue by uh, uh, by uh, Creedence Clearwater Revival, a song called Easy Keel. Uh, so another redo of that, uh, again, based off of Ezekiel. Um, and We Danced by the Hooters, a song called Evidence. Great song there. Uh, Barry Manilow's I Write the Songs. Uh, I rewrite the songs. So again, talk about what Jay Jackson does. Uh, Everybody Have Fun Tonight by Wang Chung, a song called Everybody Can Come to Christ, uh, Ugly Kid Joe's Everything About You, and Every Day About You, great version there as well. Uh, and their most recent single, Beast of Burden by the Rolling Stones, a song called Ease Your Burden, and lastly, Hot Chocolates, Everyone's a Winner, and a song called Everyone's a Sinner. Now, what else am I going to talk about on this last episode? Let me just say this. In these 29 days, I have gone through the entire discography of, of apologetics, except for the homemade cassettes, which I do not have. Hint, hint, Jay, or anybody who's watching this, I would love a copy. The completest in me is going crazy without those. Anyway, or at least the recordings of all of them, because I know some of them were done on rare, not well done. Some have been redone over the years. But there's something about having those original verses I would love to have. I don't know. Anyway, I've covered a lot of material in like five to ten minute videos, real quick snapshots. 
there's a lot of material to dig into. There's so many Bible verses contained with each song that you could really spend a, a lot of quality time every day with a song and get some good quality biblical time here. So I've just given you guys just a real quick taste, very quick little snapshot, maybe a blurry snapshot, but it's still a snapshot. So with that, I want to kind of share a couple of other things that I have, uh, I've kind of gotten in my, in my time of, 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 uh, listening to the band. So, um, so here we go. This was a, uh, a little Christmas card, uh, that we, a little photo here with the boys. So you got, uh, Jay, uh, you got, uh, Jimmy Vegas Tanner there in the hat, uh, Jay Jackson there in the, uh, with the blue shirt, uh, Keith Haney on bass and Bill Hubauer who played guitar, uh, keyboards and had done some production work and uh, and re- studio work for them. He now does a lot of stuff with Neil Morse. <clears throat> so uh, uh, watch out for any Neil Morse, Morse fans. Please go check their uh, Bill's work out with him. Um, I mentioned one time, little thumb drive, little USB, I believe for a donation of about $100 or more, you can get one of these bad boys that's got everything. So all 59 of these CDs, and I believe all these current singles, you can get. You can even get the songbook, which has all the lyrics, all the Bible verses, uh, notes from Jay, covers of all the singles. I mean, you, you name it, it's it's on this thing. This this one's a little old, so I, I don't remember how old this one is. Um, I believe it's about maybe seven, eight, seven, seven or eight years old, maybe. Maybe not even quite that. But... Still worth it if you don't if you just want to get all the tracks, you get all the MP3s of every single every single thing except for the cassettes. It's the only thing you don't get. So it's probably anyway. Um you got a little lapel pin, which says just apologetics in that uh, Christian parody band. Um this one, um, get the right side up here. Also says apologetics. Now, what this one is, this was for the 25th anniversary. Okay, so this has uh, 1992 to 2017. Reach the lost, teach the rest. So that's what that you can kind of see, can't really see it. It's kind of blurry there. So I apologize for that. Um, lastly, this this gorgeous coin. Uh, this was for the 30th anniversary. Uh, again, it says reach the lost, teach the rest. 30th anniversary um and on the back here it says apologetics that christian parody band um absolutely gorgeous coin i had had to had to get that uh and you know i probably i know that i know i have a sticker uh apologetic sticker around here somewhere don't know exactly where that is off the top of my head um there's i have a couple of t-shirts i don't have every t-shirt um there's uh i have uh dvds there's a couple dvds of theirs aside from the system of a downer uh they have the one for 2020 vision as well as um thought there was a second one now and i my memory's going blank here um but uh if if whatever it is i know i have it (laughs) uh because i'm because i'm kind of anal that way uh, and i have to have everything yeah 2020 vision um Okay, I guess I thought there was another one. Maybe I'm just losing it. And uh, there also there is also a very nice hat uh, that you can wear. Uh, that's a gorgeous hat. Um, I have yet to to pull it out to wear it. Uh, I haven't had a reason to just yet, but I will. Uh, it, it's getting to be that time of year, so I'll be ready to wear it soon. So uh, that's it. Uh, this this episode went a little longer than I normally do, but it's so well worth it. Um, this just goes to show how much I really appreciate the band apologetics and how much their ministry has meant to me. I've been, I've been just listening to them at work a lot lately. And it's just really, has been lifting my soul up because I know I'm getting Bible verses and it just gives me a nice thing to think about and really uh, just uh, endure and just love. I just appreciate it so much. So that's it. Apologetics, April, we have come to the conclusion, save one day. Great finale. It's coming tomorrow, seven o'clock central time in the evening. I will post the link to apologetics groups at some point. 
I'm going to keep it as much of a secret as much as I possibly can. You're going to love it, though. All right. So Johnny Metal, John Klaus and the Metal Dad. We'll see you for April 30th, the great finale of Apologetics April. <laughs>